The 17th century French mathematician and lawyer Pierre de Fermat wrote a very simple statement on the margin of the book Arithmetica by Diophantus. It said that the equation a to the n plus b to the n equals c to the n can have no integer solutions for integer values of n which are greater than 2, famously known as Fermat's last theorem. Apart from this, he also stated, I have discovered a truly marvelous proof which this margin is too small to contain. But nobody had any idea regarding the marvelous proof. No significant advancement followed until the Swiss mathematician Leonard Euler provided a proof, but only for n equals 3. Two Japanese mathematicians, Yutaka Taniya and Goro Shimura, gave Taniyama Shimura conjecture which connected to completely different ideas, stating that all elliptic curves have an unique modular form. The statement was important, but there was no proof. Gerhard Frey stated that assuming FLT to be true, we get an elliptic curve which is not modular. Unfortunately, it was again a conjecture and not a theorem, but it was significant. However, Ken Ribet proved Frey's conjecture. Now if both Taniyama Shimura conjecture and Frey's conjecture are correct, FLT is correct. Frey's conjecture got proved. Only thing that remains is proving Taniyama Shimura conjecture. Sir Andrew Wiles, along with the help of Nick Cads and Richard Taylor, proved the Taniyama Shimura conjecture and the puzzle had its last piece.